The six law enforcement officers in the Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker abuse case appeared in federal court and there they pleaded guilty to a wide range of serious crimes. The U.S. Justice Department unveiled civil rights charges against the six men today. According to federal prosecutors, the defendants referred to themselves as the goon squad because of their willingness to use excessive force and not to report it. Those charged in the case are former Rankin County deputy Christian Dedman, Hunter Elward, Brett McAlpin, Jeffrey Middleton, and Daniel Opdyke, as well as former Richland police officer Joshua Hartfield. Hartfield was off duty during the January raid on the house in Braxton. Court documents show the officers went there because a neighbor had complained that black people were staying with the white woman who owned the house. U.S. Attorney Darren LaMarca commented a short time ago about the case and the heinous actions by the defendants against Parker and Jenkins. I like to think of them as equal opportunity criminals, having abused handcuffed suspects regardless of race. These defendants committed heinous acts of violence against handcuffed victims whom they terrorized under color of law. As reflected in the information unsealed today, these men sexually abused their victims repeatedly tased them, tortured them, all under the authority of the badge, which they disgraced. And just a short time ago, State Attorney General Lynn Fitch announced her office has filed state charges against the six former officers. Right now, the former officers are in the custody of U.S. Marshals. The judge says the men will be sentenced in mid-November. We'll have much more on this case in our 6 p.m. newscast.